Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another great unboxing video. As today we are going to be looking at the 1994 Corvette ZR1 by AMT Ertl. This is one of the 50th anniversary model kits that came out way back in about 2003 I do believe. That would make the most sense wouldn't it? <laughs> so without further ado uh, let's go down to our bench and open the lid on this great model so that you can see what's inside the box. Now we're winding the clock all the way back to our Corvette showroom for 1994 as we check out this AMT Ertl 50th Anniversary Corvette Edition 1994 Corvette ZR1. This is a 125th scale skill level 2 kit for ages 10 and up. You will need paint and glue. So on the front of our box we've got a wonderful three quarter shot of our ZR1. Now I've been doing a little research and the ZR1 engine went from 1990 to 1995. So that was the special engine that was designed by Lotus and Corvette. On this side of the box we get to see the wonderful interior painted up in a nice tan color or beige. And then we've got the Lotus engine underneath. This is all chrome. And here we've got our side view of the car as well as our skill level rating chart here. This kit is skill level two for moderate builders age 10 and up will require paint and glue. And on this side of the box, we get to see some of the Corvettes included in the 50th anniversary, as well as the front three quarters of our 1994 Corvette ZR1 kit. Now let's open up the lid and see what's inside. Dun, 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 So right away we get this wonderful 1953 Corvette in this flyer for our 50th anniversary collection. And as we fold it out, we can see the neat little things in here. What a wonderful little brochure. Okay, so here's our instruction sheet. And inside I also have the decals. And Danny the dog can show those to you in just a minute. So we'll put those to the side. There's our body in a nice plastic bag, as well as the, the nice pieces we got here, our styrene pieces. And then there's our windshield, and here's the wonderful chrome parts tree with that nice engine on it, as well as our tires and our turn signals. So let's take this and give it to Danny the dog and see what he can do with it. Hello everybody, here's your dog on the street, Danny the dog, to show you the wonderful instructions for our 1994 Corvette ZR1 model kit. So Trevor, if you can put that stick in my mouth, and then what we'll do is we'll use the dub over mic, and I'll show everybody what the instructions look like. Okay Danny, here you go. Hmm, thank you. Okay, here we go again. So we've got our instruction sheet with this wonderful three-quarter rear end sketch in here. Looks really awesome. It says that Trevor bought this on June 7, 2003 at Walmart for the amazing price of $4.95. Now right here it says, if other sports cars could be contenders for King of the Hill, the Corvette ZR1 should be considered as King of the Mountain. So again it says that it's got the Lotus designed engine and all that other cool stuff. So Trevor will write this down in the comment section below if you want to read it. And then we've got our important before you begin stuff down here, as well as some of the little things we will be using, like our tools and whatnot, to get the job done. Here we begin with step one, and again we've got that wonderful huge serpentine belt with the alternator in the air conditioning unit and our power steering pump all gluing onto the back of the pulleys. Then we have a decal which goes on top of the alternator. Now here's our engine block being glued together. This is a chrome engine block, and if you want help in learning how to put that together, check out this cool video of this chrome engine that Trevor did. It's from a 1960s Thunderbird. Okay, so we have our left and right hand side engine block being glued together, the water pump timing chain going on, the oil pan, our starter and our valley cover being glued in place, and then our left and right hand side cylinder heads. We carry on our engine build by putting on the bell housing and our left and right hand six speed transmission and that all glues together to our block. Then we've got our cam cover going on as well as the ignition module, the inlet plenum and our oil filter and oil filler cap. 
And here we see our coolant crossover pipe being glued in place. And then the entire belt drive assembly goes on the front of the engine. And we've got our two piece left and right hand side exhaust manifolds, which glue on there. And you got to build another one for the other side. And here we have our chassis assembly. So we've got our chassis pan and then the front suspension glues up from underneath. Next up, we've got the back end with our differential here and rear axle. The drive shaft glues into the front of the differential. And then we've got our leaf spring differential mount, which glues to the back and our control arms, which glue onto the ends of our differential. And then all of that gets dropped into place and you glue on your control rod as well. Then here we have our chassis assembly with our engine being glued in place here at the front and the back of the transmission hooking up to our drive shaft. And then we've got a little inlet duct and here on our radio radiator we have the actual intake molded in place and then the back of the radiator gets glued in and we've got our upper radiator hose and our lower radiator hose being put into the two holes at the top and bottom of the back of the radiator. Here we've got our muffler and exhaust system being glued together and pushed up underneath. We've got a torque arm which glues on the side of the drive shaft and then a front brace with the oil cooler which gets glued up here. And then finally our spare tire carrier gets hooked onto the back. Now here we see our rear assembly panel. This is basically the same for all of our wheels and tires. You have your outer wheel that's chrome, which goes into the tire. Make sure you check the direction on here. There's little arrows on the side of the tire telling you which way it goes. Then we've got a disc brake retainer clip here, which goes into our inner wheel. And if we just move our instructions down, you'll see that it's the same for the front and the back. You just gotta always keep in mind that rotation of the tire tread. In panel four, we see our chassis and wheel assembly. You want to put a little bit of glue on here and then carefully press the wheels on in place right on our axle pins. And then here we have decal five going on the side of the radiator and that'll help dress it up under the hood. Step five shows our interior assembly. Here again, we get the wonderful dashboard. This time around, we also have the airbag in place. Then we get our steering wheel going in there and our rear seats our front bucket seats, pardon me, going in place. And then our gear shift lever with the boot dropping into our center console. Now in step six, we begin our body assembly. And here we can see that we need to prepare our windshield and rear window by removing these little straps in between the two and cleaning up on the edges. Here we've got a license plate decal which drops into place in the back. And then if we flip our body upside down, we can put in our rear brake lights. Now this is kind of odd that they do that so remember to paint your body first before putting on the license plate. Now here we have the engine bay assembly and we can see our air conditioning unit and a, the uh, heater here all going together and there's the recovery tank up top and then we've got our battery here and a decal going in place as well as a master cylinder. Our next panel shows our body and interior assembly. So here we have our windows going in place, the rear view mirror, our interior assembly being popped up from the bottom. And then we've got our turn signals, which will glue into place in the front bumper and a windshield washer reservoir gluing up here. We also have some more under hood decals, which will make this thing look really, really cool. Up here, we see underneath the hood. And again, you have to put in those clips for the hinges and then your inner wheel fenders. And up here we also have our headlamps being glued into place. This panel shows our body assembly being put together. Now you do have these little clips which clip into the assembled hood. So you must maneuver the front end first so you don't break those off. And then slide the body down like a hinge and move it around a little bit until it all locates. And then you would put your hood onto the pins and then glue on the nose panel. Now here in this panel, we see some additional final assemblies. We've got the computer box being glued in place, the ASR module, and our AC line dryer all going up under the hood. Our next panel shows the detailing. And here we've got our high mounted brake light, which you paint red, and our little Chevy emblem on the back here, the Corvette emblem, which is red with a checkerboard pattern. And then the Corvette lettering is black in here backup lights being white 
the ZR1 badge that you paint it black and then you've got your trim going along the body sides there's the turn signal levers our rear view mirrors door handles and it even shows these neat decals which we will be looking at toward the end of the video i'm going to show you those and i can't wait thank you danny for looking over those instructions so now i'm going to show you the plastic components and you are up for a bit of a sanding challenge as you build this model for here we've got our wonderful looking body from amt and right along here you can see some really intense mold marks and flash so let's just bring this up into the camera and have a look see look at that that's like an actual step right in there <laughs> pretty scary there's our corvette emblem and that rear brake light up top and then the back end and again you can see just how much that seam line is coming up and over this should all be smooth and round in here so you will need some sandpaper tricks now up the side we've also got these little vents in here as well as our side marker lights which are pretty neat and then the corvette emblem in the front of that nose piece with our wraparound front parking and turn signal levers or sorry lenses there you got the corvette lettering in here as well as the back and it does not have any raised lettering on the license plate so again that saves you the step of scraping that down there are some mold marks up here underneath and in the front which you will have to get rid of with that number 16 hobby blade also into the roof the sun visors are molded in here so again a bit of a painting trick but overall you should have a nice model once it's all cleaned up here's our parts tree containing our dashboard and it does have a little cutout for the airbag so that's nice that amt updated that as well as our hood hinges our nose cover and our actual hood so again bringing this up to the camera you can see the wonderful detail of the corvette logo as well as all the gauges on that instrument panel which was quite a nice digital piece back in the day underneath we have the hood and here you can see all the nice detail and texture in here there's where you're going to be putting your inner fender aprons and the hood hinges and all the rest again really really nice doesn't look like there's too many deep mold marks in here a couple there and there and in the back but overall this is a really nicely done part here we've got the parts tree that makes up our interior components we do get a different set of seats from the convertible edition as well as our nice steering wheel and the gear shift lever and our interior bucket some mold marks off the back here which you could clean up just to make sure everything fits nice nice and snug look at the upholstery pattern on those seats quite a bit simplistic compared to the other corvette convertible again you get a nice interior bucket here really crisp molding on there especially on the door handles on the sides which look accurate again a few mold marks here and here and into the carpet but overall should be easy to clean up and look really really great here's our chassis pan which is a little bit different from the one in the convertible kit here you can see brake lines going up along the sides as well as the nice texture in here and the manufacturer's name underneath again really nicely done this chassis goes all the way back to the early 84 86 corvette kits but it has held up over time a couple of mold marks up on the inside here which you want to scrape down but overall will work nicely and speaking of suspension components here we have our drive shaft our front axle and the components to make up our back end and differential as well as our wheel backs and these nice caliper style wheel retainers so let's just move this down a little bit take a look at this in the camera look at how nice that detail is rack and pinion steering again really excellent work on that lattice and then again really excellent stuff moving this off to the side we can see those nice calipers which you'll be able to see right through the wheel backs at the front of the wheel anyway again nice overall and uh, what can you say about this except that it is excellent here we have a much smaller parts tree this has all our little under hood details as well as the front brace and our line for the air conditioner and the brace that goes along the side of the drive shaft so again some really nice detailing in here on the components 
up underneath maybe a few mold marks you might want to take care of but overall again a really really excellent parts tree on this parts tree we have the radiator and our spare tire carrier as well as the exhaust pipes and mufflers and then a whole bunch of our engine components and again these all look really excellent the molding is crisp the detail is high and really nice look at that master cylinder there <laughs> there's the uh, front of the intake for the plenum molded onto that radiator turning it over you can see the wonderful fans on here are you a fan of the fans let us know in the comments down below and again really really excellent detail work so here we have the chrome components that make up the wonderful engine this is that lotus motor again take a look at the wonderful engine block and the covers really excellent looking stuff and there we also have our chrome plated wheels so again really excellent work by amt in bringing us this wonderful chrome plated engine here we have our clear components which include the back glass and the front windshield and remember to remove these little runners in here and to just sand it down along the edge to make it nice and smooth there we've got our nice rectangular style rear tail lamps as well as our side marker lights and it does say to paint some of these with the smoke color so always check to make sure what a real corvette looks like in order to duplicate it on your shelf one nice thing about the windows is it does have the defroster lines molded in place so again really excellent work by amt here we've got our wonderful goodyear eagle tires now these ones are directional so look for the little arrows along the side you've got the raised lettering in here which is really wonderful to paint up and very easy you also have lower profile tires for the front and wider ones in the back. You can easily see that by just doing this, just to see you've got a little bit wider in the back. Also the tread pattern is nice and directional, so make sure that you line it up so that all that is pointing forward. Hey everybody, it's Danny the dog again, and here we have our decal sheet. This is kind of cool because you could have a red, white, and blue going on here if you decide to paint your Corvette white, which is just like a great celebration to America. Speaking of America, we have a Michigan license plate. Now write in the comments down below if you're from Michigan and just how cool you think this license plate is. And we also have one from New Jersey. So who's from Michigan, who's from New Jersey? Let us know in the comments down below. We don't want your actual address though, because that's not cool. But uh, yeah, just let us know if you're from that state. And then speaking of Corvette's anniversary, there's the wonderful 50th anniversary plate, just so you can put it on as like a museum piece. And then we've got our wonderful under the hood decals, which will really dress this model kit up. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this great unboxing video where you got to see the 1994 Corvette ZR1 by AMT Ertl. It's always nice when somebody else opens up that shrink wrap and goes through what's inside the box, isn't it? So if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to check it out. And if you would like to support our little venture into opening up a Monster Hobbies model car museum, where you will get to see my dad's models and my models in these really amazing displays and settings, don't forget to click that join button down below. And for as little as $3 a month, you can help us reach that goal. And we'd really appreciate it. And as a token of our appreciation, you will get your name listed in the credits at the end of the video, like these wonderful people will once we get to the end of the video. So everybody, thank you once again for watching and until next time, happy model building.